what Ingredion spends in one month to keep us out here in the street is all of our salary for one year. This is uh, mainly a starch production plant, industrial grade starch. So most of the starch is used in paper production, cardboard manufacturing, printing paper. They took our contract and threw it out and came up with a completely different contract. The company is just taking and taking and it's time for the people to stand up and get at least their share for the work that we do inside of the plant. The changes that they wanted to make in our contract was basically control us by taking away our vacation, our guaranteed days off, increasing our insurance, changing most of our benefits, uh, changing to 12 hour days, not paying us time and a half for our time after we work eight hours. We would also be on call with no compensation for our days off, meaning they can call us in whenever they wanted on our days off or if we were planning a trip with your family or something, you don't have guaranteed days off. How do you have a home life, a family life, a social life, anything? You can't. You're at their beck and call. As a mom, I can't afford to work more or be forced to work days off when I want to have a quality life with my children. We've been out a very long time, going on six months now. I have had to take a new job. Um, I won't go back in, I don't want to cross the line. I'd rather suffer, work elsewhere, than um, take away the, what we're doing. I don't have a spouse or a partner to help with stuff, so it's been all on me. I help take care of, I do take care of my parents. So it, it's been, I've literally went through all my savings yeah. Son's not going to college now, we can't afford it yet. We told him to hold back. Uh, we'll probably put off retirement that much longer. We've had to switch our medical around. We've passed up doctor appointments. We've picked up free medicine at the free clinic. But I'm not gonna let them beat me. I need to go get another job. My wife's picking up hours. My kids are trying to work, help out where they can. This company's spending as of their third quarter financial reports, $150,000 a day to try to beat these workers. The help that we receive from the community is outstanding. They, they'll stop and drop off warm food, water, Gatorades, and Lasitas. They are a lifesaver. For us. The free lunches that they serve for us, coffee's free, warm place to go. You know, when they start the strike, so we um, come in early on Saturdays, we did a breakfast for them, we made food for them or their kids, you know, um, at least once, twice a week. This is a union town. We have a lot of different companies that are in this town that they're all union. We're all fighting for them as well because they all have contracts that are eventually gonna be expiring, that they're gonna have to go through and we're gonna have to negotiate. And whatever it is that happens here can happen there. So if we don't stand up to basically corporate greed, then we're just setting those companies up to do the same thing to their employees.